Hello, this is Strong Fire. Welcome back to another episode of Fan Journey. I welcome to fans of yours. Join me play Fan Journey Levels. Corvid Fan. Sonic Fan. Paul Walpaco Fan. That's not really Fan at the end. I just added it. Um, here's what we're playing with. And like always, because I can't provide my own commentary, we have Moonkin for extras. Hello, I am here for extras. Extras? Extra dominoes? <laughs> yes. Holy shit, you're like loud. Let me adjust you. Yeah, why are you so loud, Moonkin? Moonkin got a new headset, that's why he's loud. He's excited now. I had to raise my volume. Um, so, they're already off to a good start with slapping each other. Excellent. That's what I always look for on my show. I actually ta uh, do applications before I start the show, viewers. And one of the uh, criteria is you have to slap one viewer at least five times per show. Per show. I feel like the last the last two episodes like didn't even happen. Like they it was just a spiral into madness. The first show was me like complaining about Medium Molecule and the lag online for Little Big Planet and my internet. And then the second one was uh, about Barn and his new girlfriend. I feel like people are hijacking my show. So one of us, I'm, I'm gonna be the clown. I'm gonna be the clown. <laughs> so I'm an evil clown. I'm kidding. Okay. That kills people. Oh, oh, okay. As we all know, clowns are evil. Uh, yeah. Especially bald clowns. Yes. Bruh. Oh, uh, did you see the thing that Genosis posted about uh, N Nintendo's director Nintendo. taking a pay yeah. cut? Yes, yes, I did. You gotta do something to mitigate losses, I guess. Yeah. I appear so. <laughs> I pretended I couldn't get it back up. <laughs> Look at all the cotton candy down here. Cotton candy. Baby candy. Why is the cotton candy dripping blood? That is my question to you, the viewers. Dump. Full. Okay. One of you gotta be behind something. Okay. It's lagging so bad I can't do anything. I can't get out of this. Oh. Give me that popcorn. Anyone in this trash can? <laughs> oh, I love it when people die. Why wow. is there underground? You heard it here first, viewers. <laughs> I love it when people die. <laughs> Thanks for running. <laughs> <laughs> you think <laughs> everyone died that day? Wow, why you gotta smack me? I might not be a clown anymore, but I can still smack the crap out of you. Oh, that was weird. That was a weird level. I'm actually quite scared now. Okay, I'm gonna hide this time. That's what happens when you hide in the very first part of the level, viewers. Um, okay. Time to hide in the fun house. Fun house? What oh, fun house? Small and square and dark. I thought it was fun box. It is fun box. I just... 
just came to my head. I started oh, I saying see. Funhouse instead of saying Funhouse. Clever. Clever. You're welcome. Clever girl. That was, that was my next custom song of yours. <laughs> I just <laughs> wanted the album. Oh, oh, by the way, I watched all the like, uh, MagFest panels with like, Hugo Raptor and Team Train and whatnot. Pretty oh, funny. My oh my god. Oh, are you bored? Oh, yeah. Uh, I watched them the other day uh, when Skull the Sphinx was over to visit, and uh, it was pretty interesting. Yeah. I had nothing else to do. Came home from a 9 o'clock class, then I, my next class was until 2. It was like, eh, watch the MagFest panels. I, I got a kick out of, I think it was the Game Grumps panel, where, like, someone uh, was like, why are you guys picking on Ross? And Danny's <laughs> like, it's like, I actually love Ross, and then Ross is, like, playing his DS, and he's like... It's like, Ross, I'm trying to give you a compliment. God, yeah, damn yeah. It. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. He's sitting there playing his Pokemon game. <laughs> uh, it's kind of annoying when people ask, ask really stupid questions. Yeah, that's just how it is. Well, well what was it? Uh, it's kind of expected. I mean, there's that one guy way in the back. He's like, do you have any tacos? The Raptor's like... What? No. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. The the most. If you're looking for stupid questions, there were a lot at John Tron's panel. Like they they were really? just trying to get his. Yeah, they were trying to get his attention. Oh, they killed me. I didn't me. even watch that. Yeah. It's actually pretty interesting. I, I was surprised, like, that. Uh, not a lot of people asked about Game Grumps questions. Of course, one one oh, lot person like, okay, I'm gonna break the motherfucking ice here. I was like, whoa, calm down, sir. And I was like, are you going to appear on Guest Grumps? And I also watched the Smooth McGrew panel uh, for like, I think like 15, 20 minutes he, he was talking about video game music and then he opened up the Q&A when someone, he saw someone that had their hand raised the entire time, like the first 20 oh. minutes. And I was like, okay, that gentleman right there. And he was talking about, uh, he was talking about WoW a little bit. Uh, Diablo 3, a lot of video game music, yada yada. Oh, really? Someone, I didn't see that one either. Someone asked how long his beard was. Oh my gosh. I was like, what? It's like, I'm sure you know. No. <laughs> yes, I measure my beard. That is why I grew my beard, to see how long it could get. I'm uh, Oh, I got a kick out of someone like asked about the fanfics Ninja Brian wrote it's like are you gonna make another one I don't know he looks like he's in his 30s if not early 40s I swear this viewer is hiding in the same spot he hid hid last time oh I just got a kick out of the the one thing during the, the Steam Train Ninja Sex Party panel when they all started chanting Barry and Barry's like, SILENCE! And then they all like, they all shut up. It's like, okay, that's kind of scary. Fine, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently the moon is behind the clouds now, viewers. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh. I thought you were. I thought Maybe you disappeared, I actually. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think if there was anything else. Oh, Eagle Raptor's story about when he got ice cream when he was a little kid. Oh, when, yeah. <laughs> you see this? This is a Canadian corpse. So Don't ever do that. I was like, wow, what a dick. I am gonna be so sad if like everyone lives but me, because I'm the first one out and like everyone else is still hidden. Uh, I don't remember many embarrassing stories of me. It's not off the top of my head. I I think the most embarrassing I ever got was like that fight I got into in high school, and that was about it. 
and it was afterwards because I got sucker punched and then like a couple kids would always be like oh it's like you want beat up Sh you want beat up Sean you want beat up and it's like what are you a tough guy like according to your perspective I'm weak but yet you want to beat you want to beat me up yeah that makes a lot of sense that makes you real tough I never got that with bullies. Like, oh, I'm tough. I pick on the weak. <laughs> I was a scrawny kid in uh, middle school. Well, actually, I started to get a little chubby, like going into middle school, and then like by ninth grade, ninth tenth grade, I like panned out to uh, being skinny. Mitchell. And now I'm just back to being like about average now. I am totally appalled. Everyone lives but me. That is a bunch of horse hockey bullcrap. <laughs> yeah, slap that guy that just went flying across the screen. Yeah, slap a moonkin. Wow. So I, I've been playing Assassin's Creed 4 and I don't know if I'm flying through the game or if I'm just like there's not as much in the game as I thought because I'm 28% total synced and I, I've been collecting everything. I forget that I have that game because I, my brother has it at the moment. I always forget that I have it. I Plus, as know soon as I get my room changed around I'll start playing my PS3 game. I want to know who devoted their entire time to like sinking 2.5 million ships. Because I was looking at the leaderboards for like most notorious pirate and it was like 2.5 million ships. Some ships or some, something like that. You have to sink 2 million ships to get in the top leaderboards. That's a little obsessive. Jesus. Just a little. So I've been starting to finally clear out some areas because I've been taking some of the uh, the forts because I guess that makes gets rid of the red area where like all restricted area when you're sailing because I get annoyed at that when I'm trying to go to another place or I'm following something and it's like oh restricted area it's like don't let anyone see you. But pretty much no one stands a chance against me, and I don't even have fully upgraded armor yet. I have like almost the best cannons, and like I have mortar, mortar support. Of course, uh, Skeleton Sphinx was telling me there's a ghost ship in this game. Ghost ship. Hey, yeah, and he was telling me, he's like, oh, I can't even be doing it. I have like level 3 upgrades of everything. It's like, of course you can't, it's a ghost ship. <laughs> I am the chicken. It's the eye of chicken. It's a wonderful fight. Boom. I really have to go back into playing that. Well, I only played it like the day I got it. That was pretty much it. Yeah. I forgot about it. Well, it was actually I mean, pretty I, I fun. All, yeah. I like Assassin's Creed games, but I bought all the DLC too. So I kind of feel obligated to play it. Yeah. Well, in my opinion, this is much different, like, than the older ones. I've only played the second one. Well, it, it's, it's more sailing and less platforming. Huh. Sailing doesn't really bother me that much. Because I think it's mostly, like, the Caribbean Islands or something like that. Because one of the locations you can find is Florida. Well, it says Florida, but I don't... I don't know, uh... Like if they're talking about our Florida, if there's like their own interpretation of Florida, because it's ba basically like a little bit of land and a lot of sunken ships. <sighs> Boom! So right now, viewers, I'm wrestling Peter Griffin. Oh god. I am the chicken. I don't know who Peter Griffin is. This is what the viewers come for. They come for discussions and Mortal Kombat. No, that's what I've come here for. Don't you kick, Peter. We're going downtown. Okay, 
Okay, that does not look right. Here I come. Boom! We all die together. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I'll bring you back with another episode. This is Fire with Moonkin. Signing out. Have a good day.